So I think the uh, gimmick here was you had to cut up the um, vines covering the different buttons. Yeah. Bob laughing. <laughs> Wow, first time doing that hit this. No kidding. Make sure Flowey isn't watching before trying it. Chunky. For a second. Oh, crap. Oh, this is again. Yeah, that's right. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't there some garbage? I, I just saw some garbage. If you go up here and have it hit the uh, the robot leg, it bounces off and uh, 
It goes outside the box instead of hitting us. Even just to hang out or something. Not. It's. No big deal. Oh, no big deal. I'm starting to think you've had your fuel plants. Don't worry, Spider didn't. Just you and I again. It is too bad I cannot grow tired. For you, that is. Don't know how I dodged that. <laughs> cool. Vines weaving out the ground all around you. Gather. You pick some flowers and offer them. Gardener is too distracted. I'm here for the attack! Oh, you missed it. Seriously? Man. Hey, it is okay. Here, a flower to cheer you up. Aw. Yo, thanks. Mind if I attack a little? By all means. Oh, what? with Gardner and it seems to have in fact offense level lowered. Still standing. You are rather upsetting. Yeah I know. I thought, I thought you couldn't feel Oh yes. what the heck is this garbage? Just wait until my creator hears about this. He will get a long lecture. You will get a long lecture. A lecture more painful than anything I am doing. <laughs> Sounds like a first hand experience. True torture. Yeah. Ah. You tell Gardner that this is a misunderstanding. Offense level lowered. After that, the head office will give you uh, an award. Excellence in ruining Gardner's day. <laughs> Deserved. You? Yeah. Drop down the beef jerky. Your HP is maxed out. Give in already, already, or, or wait, oh already? What? I don't know. Something like that. Gardner gives it all she got. She's gone. Yes, ask Gardner to think about what she's doing. Offense level lowered. Give in already, oh already, I can't stop. Keep saying that. You, re you use a rational uh, rationale in hopes of de escalating the situation. Offense level lowered. Is that the right? There's usually an E at the end. I don't know. I think that's. I th yeah. Yeah, I think that's just usually incorrect. Um, anyway. Wait. You, you, I, offense level lowered. Oh, what happened? There seems to be a gap in my memory core. I am sorry. I think that did the trick. You're very clever in intense situations. I'm impressed. Gardner seems to cool down as steam seeps from her arms. To take a rage down a few notches. 50 gold. I was about to do something. Oh yes, I remember. Sending level 3 report.
I apologize. Allow me to call again. Sending level 3 report. Hello, creator. Are you there? I believe my creator may be playing a practical joke on me. Interesting. They, they just expect that person, possibly Shujin, to be on call all the time. Signaling Steamworks, Steamworks head office. The, the line you are connecting has been, <laughs> contacting has been disconnected. Where? Where is everybody? Oh, I have allowed immense overgrowth. I understand. It seems my day has passed. Cancel report and reinitiate hibernation. Hibernation sequence engaged. I am sorry for inconveniencing you. I do not know what the world is like now, nor do do I wish to. Life was m much better. Not knowing. Let's keep moving. Peace. Oh, and we're out of the white room, huh? Crossroads. We can't let all these bots to deter us. I wish you could help them, but it's far too late. I mean, they aren't even real. Yeah, they're only some mix of metal and magic. So, it's alright. I love her. Uh, I want to try it. Yeah, I'll try it now. It feels like it, but I don't think so. Oh, nice. Should we go left or right? Heavy Biz tunes in. Back 12, defense 12. Can't live with or without one another. Don't touch that dial. Seriously, I'll hurt you. Either <laughs> VHS tape, player, and uh, TV. Oh, I see now. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Heavy oh. pushes Viss's mouth, mouth flap back and forth for amusement. Viss isn't having it. Wow, this is your favorite channel. Tell you this, uh, don't don't look amused. What? <clears throat> oh crap! Sound of TV stack fills your head. Yep, Tally Fenangor intends to find some programming. Just what I needed. Can you detach me while you're at it? You wonder where the mute button is. Begin to drift off to dismay of Tully. <laughs> Am I boring to you? Tully finds the show she thinks you'll love. Here comes the best part. Hard to disagree. Two paths. Hold on. That symbol. I've seen it on Shujin's work uniform. Let me try one of his codes. Oh. Well, I only have one left, but I've already used it. 
Here it goes. Seriously? Same code as the Dune Skate? With this kind of security, no wonder Axis is so vigilant. After you. Uh, we're not going there yet. Do the other one and then clean. No, right. we just oh, do no, this. Oh no, yeah, you're right, you're right. And then you gotta get the, uh, the, the green. soap. I appreciate them playing handrails here. Sure, we're suspended over a bombless pit, but hey, making baby steps towards basic safety measures. <laughs> I remember that dialogue from last time. Yeah. Sure this is a previous area or not? I think it is. Yeah. Okay, so why we have access back here? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, wait, we can. What? That's not. But there's a reason. Oh, we might want to pick up food from the vendor. If it stalls anything in stock, I bet. Unauthorized child detected. Go away. <laughs> Earth's th Earth heals 30 HP. This will kill you. Tastes like plastic. We can buy a lot of stuff. Will the safety goggles give us defense? Uh, I forget what defense we have. Yes, bye. Thanks for nothing. You wrap the safety goggles around your hat. It looks like it has eyes now. <laughs> yeah, it's one more defense. Faces out of this world. Uh huh. Feels 20 HP. Chemically inclined liquid. Provider of success. Oh, hey. Hello. Rush it through. Sign says if if the reception if receptionist is un unreceptive, check with the robot control station three floors up. Robot control station. Clever. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Access exactly. There's some sort of breaker box for all, all the robots in the area. We can shut access down and get to Hotland as planned. It's worth an investigation at least. Let's go. Wishing everyone a productive final workday. Feel free to take pictures with your creations, as they must be left behind. As always, thank you for your contributions to the Steamworks. Roboceptionist, frozen in time. It holds an expression of melancholy. Ah, uh, there's an access tunnel. Various cardboard cuboids lie bunched up in the corner. They're all empty. Knock on the steel structure. It echoes with a deep clanging. Is that a train or something? Oh. Really? Another door? Let's look around. That's a, be a switcher's panel somewhere. Can you not interact with that console? 
Sorry, what? Do you not interact with that constantly? Oh, I don't want to, because, you know, we might be sent forward. An empty elevator shaft lies before you. Well then, convenience was never in today's dictionary anyway. There'll be a circus close by. One other way. <laughs> Climb up it. Good morning, Steamworks employees. Hope you're ready for another day of product productivity. That's what today we are boxing and shipping good uh, goods out into the underground. Uh, hello. Are you sentient or pre-recording? Hello, new hire. Yes, I am fully sentient. Trapped in this two-dimensional rectangle for all eternity. Yay! Yippee! Right. Can you unlock all the doors in this factory? We're in a hurry. Sorry, but each morning we do a little thing called... Earn your freedom! <laughs> Complete a full shipment and you'll be on your way. What kind of policy is that? When there's a quota to meet, ethics go out the window. <laughs> Haven't you worked a job before? Of course, but I don't work here. So you're trespassing? In that case... Fine, we'll do the job. Clever, this bot might have connections to get into access. Seems to God do what it says to avoid unwanted attention. It can work this thing, right? Push the start button and we'll get, get over with. Nothing. <laughs> what are you doing? Put red items in the red boxes and blue items in the blue boxes. Three strikes and you're out. Your machine's broken. The second conveyor belt doesn't move. No. Yes? It's... No. <laughs> Screw this. Whatever, you e box the goods and I'll toss them into the chute. Teamwork, right? Something like that. Let's give it a shot. User error. How do I. Uh, I think it's left and right oh. for. Oh. What the heck is that? Uh oh. I guess, yeah, if it's got no highlight, don't box it. Trash. What? It marked that as wrong? No, okay. Dad. Oh. Hey, all right. Good work, Clover. On to whatever awaits us next. <laughs> the belt looks as if it's wanting to convey something. Appreciate your eagerness to help, but this job is done. Don't you worry. There is plenty more to do elsewhere. We reside in an industrial buffet of endless labor. Wow. Amazing. My kind of place. Fortunate incident. Oh, there's like a robot, two robots stuck in here. Huh. What the? Fun! <laughs> Hello again. The shipment is almost complete. One final step and you may have passed the passcode to exit. All you have. Sort each color package by tilting that platform left to right. Very obvious. <laughs> Look who paid attention learning colors in preschool. <laughs> Not by choice. I'll take those draw street up top. You man the platform. Good? Good.
Ready? There goes nothing. Oh god. Uh. Oh, you have to push it all the way? back down great job everyone you can't spell steamworks without teamwork can't spell it without steak or either but ha what that has absolutely no bearing on this situation let's see how you did calculating oh you barely scraped by but that's what performance reports are for hey that's all we needed <laughs> Hey, it isn't our fault this system is so impractical. Why does it take two giant s steps to ship a few packages? Why can't we sort the colors from boxing them in the first room? Beats me. You know, for being built by such great minds, Steamworks are awfully convoluted. It takes a massive IQ to understand the complexities oh. of the Steamworks. Don't bring the IQ crap in here. Your brain probably isn't advanced enough. So it's a wall-mounted GIF comprised of three pixels. You know what? You can take your little passcode and... Just give us the code. Of course. Passcode is 3724. Got it? 3724. Yeah, thanks. No, thank you, employees. Thank you for making the underground a little brighter. Seriously, uh, Sir Burrow's about to seriously rip into that thing. <laughs> or halfway through it, you find a stick of beef jerky in the trash can. Take it. Yeah, another beef oh, jerky stick. Trash. Three, seven, two, four. Oh. Uh. An elevator. Metalworks emergency escape plane, or MEEP. In case someone sets the room on fire, do not use the elevator. Evacuate down to floor 01 or use the passcode to access floor 03. Uh huh. They really lo locked this place up tight. Well, if the code was found nearby on the first floor, let's take a look around. Uh, I'm gonna step away for a moment. Mendel works emergencies. Yeah. Yeah, music, huh? Oh. There you are. No way. You seriously, want to do this again? Yes. Remember the explosion that incapacitated you? Yes. I retrieved brand new hands. I am unstoppable now. Look, at some point you need. Shush. Do not resist arrest any longer. Stand still and let my handsome hands shine. Oh. Shoot. Clover, this way. My vision. Initiating 16 volt super flashlight. 95% of power utilized. Typography box hindered. What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> this is most un. This is bad. Oh well. Unlike them, I have eyes. A voice stealth section. Oh. Need to stay out of his view and keep quiet. Scott. Hello again. What? <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, 
It's got the code around here. Once you find it, head for the exit. The remnant of Cerebro's wrath. Yeah. Uh oh. So for distracting? Hmm, maybe. Rush collection of familiar stones. Nothing. Trigger dog code. I can give it a try. Oh, okay. I don't have the code. Wait, when you do the do the light thing, a. there it is. A three, oh. C four, or is that C four or C nine? That C four. So three, two, four. Line up A B C D. So two. Wait, wait, wait. Or was B? Right here. So two. Oh no. Two two four. Or wait. I think I think it's three seven two four. I think it goes in 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 the A B C D order. Yeah, that's what I did. Oh what? Three. Oh, that's a three, not a two. My bad. Oh, three, two. Four, four. Right? Or wait, what was... I, I think so. Okay, let's head upstairs before Axis. Hello. Axis! Just the vibe I was looking for. How are you doing these days? Not so good. I could only speak in 15 characters max back there. It kind of bummed me out. I'm sorry to hear that. Glad you got the, your full speech ability back. Thank you. I do like talking. Wait. Wait. Are you trying to distract me from my mission? No. Oh, okay. Can I ask you a question involving the security of the Steamworks? Yes, I am a security expert. Why is it why is it that some doors that require pass codes unlock and others require a Steamworks ID? Two factor authentication. Ah. Uh. Cool. <laughs> Workstations. Okay, well, probably another code to find. You know the drill. Old PC saying on two desktops. The image on the screen gives you nostalgia feel feeling. Windows and background. Chief nightly type bullet points lies crumpled in the trash. Stash in your mailbag. The help of guidelines. One, every manufactured bot must have a practical function installed, a purpose for being, cooking, cleaning, agriculture, etc. Bots should have tiers of emotion to better integrate into society. Coding a personality into each one is recommended. It makes them more personable, easy to be around. <coughs> All bots are to have a strong connection with living things, the creators, average mon monsters, other bots, etc. If deprived of, of this, some may become easily agitated or even restless. Others may be unfazed, depends on the model. If a bot acts out of line or malfunctions, they are to be shut down. Typically, typically a hard reset will do the trick. Termination is la a last resort. If sh a shutdown is impossible, they can be coaxed co back into their normal state. Absolutely no bots are allowed outside the Steamworks at this time, until K King outscores to 
ready to begin mass production. This project is classified. Six, most of all, have fun. So, shut them down, and if a shutdown is impossible, they can be coaxed back into the normal state. Otherwise, termination will have to occur. You are all struck by the absolute pipe pandemonium on the play. How do they do it? Many sticky notes are posted around the smashed in PC. We've replaced your computer six times now. Please control your temper. It's just solitaire. <laughs> the note on the powered off PC reads, the future is bright. Hang in there. The dust chair seems to be growing of, of substance you'd rather stay away from. Downsizing imminent, but definitely not for the employee who's reading this. You're doing a great job. Awesome. I think these are the two robots, the hole in which the two robots fell down, possibly. Must be the manager's office. Surely they had access to all the passcodes. Let's check those file cabinets. Hold on, look here. Performance re reports for all factory employees. A, B. O one sixteen twenty XX. Mr. Shujin pitched his blueprints for guard bot of sorts. He called the project Axis. O three nineteen twenty XX. Axis model O one was presented to King Asgore with, but was swiftly rejected. The poor thing couldn't stay powered up for more than six seconds. O five ten twenty. Axis Model 4 backfired and shot one of its gloves like the king. This is getting embarrassing. 0723XX. Axis Model 07 refused to enter the throne room. Asgore sh gave Shujin one more shot after incessant pleading. I know he's a smart engineer, but if the next showcase goes south. What's up with this music? 0923 XX. Well, this is it. Model 08 booted up and seemed stable for a moment. That was until a malfunction occurred and sparks be began to emit from the body. In the chaos, one spark leaped onto the King, King Asgore's flower bed. Oh no. The fire ignited, but it was sw swiftly put out. Please leave. Leave and do not return. I, I apologize deeply. But as we are, us monsters simply aren't ready to bypass the barrier. You know this deep down. I know you do. Axis is the solution you need. The solution I need is a, a reliable one. One that won't set our fire to our homes. This is about my... It isn't. I thank you for the, your service to society. But I'm afraid monsters kind of freedom belongs in more capable hands. Capable hands, he says. Look at Axis now, the true realization of Shujin's vision. He far exceeds any model Asgore ever saw. And you know who, who, who those capable hands now belong to? The scientist who has Kanako. Dr. Alphys. Ah. The, a while back, she built a robot too. One so lifelike, it got her the, the position she has now. It must have been r real impressive. So impressive that Asgore kicked the other visionaries to the curb. I understand now why Shujin never shared this with me. He must have been absolutely gutted hearing those words. Screw the royals. The politics, all the red tape. This, Clover, this is why the mission is so important. You can't trust these closed-minded gatekeepers to do anything right. Not for a second. Let's go.
Today's at the very passcode, 5815. Richard B. Oni. Engineering Certificate XX20XX. To the left, a desk with several ripped up notes strewn about. Among the notes sits a piece of paper with one thing written on it. How do I tell them? So. 5815. Oh. What? Oh. Hello, I welcome you into my body. <laughs> Where ever would you like to go? Top floor. Did you say basement? Get us to the roof. Out of here, wherever. I carry a negative opinion of you heading to out of here. <laughs> Look, sorry for all the outbursts. All of this is... It's a lot to process. Bet you're pretty tired of learning about me, so... What about you? You're not exactly a talker, so I don't know much. Why are you here in the first place? Did you simply trimp and fall into the underground? I'm curious. The five humans or personal mission. Yeah, I think so too. I see. You wanted to find out what happened to those kids. A noble mission. Take Scots. I'm assuming you haven't found them yet, though. We have arrived at out of here. Well, uh, better get moving. Uh oh. Looks like the roof. There isn't anything above that. Nothing. Uh, we don't have time for this. No! Got the crappy... Whoa, what the heck? Oh, I have my headphone off. What were you doing? Louder! 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 I'm still slippery. No! You move the Guzik Needle to a new Colmer record. Hmm, yeah. What are you doing? Jeez. Nearly died. Yeah. Uh, let's try the H2O. You drink the H2O. Kind of tastes like window cleaner. HP maxed out. <laughs> Poisoned ourselves. Yeah. Watch your clover. Yeah. Wait, is this right back where we were? If you go left. It has a different door, though, to the right year, though. Yeah. Ew. This one goes out to all the humans out there.
That different area. Whoa. I'm guessing this is our ticket out of here. <coughs> Just have to. Uh, why don't you take a stab at it? Technology and I don't exactly mix well. Yeah, I've seen. A daunting array of screens and buttons lie before you. You press one of the buttons. Robotics control status functioning at 78%. Waiting input. Main directory. Ooh. Pictures. Loading. Estimated time remaining 9 hours. Robotic. Jeez. <laughs> Error. Information classified. Trying to play video games on the job? Please report to the head office. We have a pink-colored gift for you. <laughs> oh. Steamwork Station R system. OS Delta version 1.4 installed XX20XX. Processor Ultra McTurbo Core 180 0.5 GHz. Installed physical memory 500 megabytes. Graphics cards error. Robot. Yeah. Okay. Emergency shutdown is. Shut down all helper bots within the vicinity. Attempting shutdown. Error, could not complete task. Just kidding. <laughs> what? Who puts on the emergency emergency shutdown? I hope that worked. It's unfortunately access had to end up this way. Maybe I should No. I wish Usual Project Project could thrive, but a line ha had to be drawn. Can't dwell in the past any longer. Let's go. If you go back to the mailbox, will they use it now? Maybe. Also, I should talk. This whole adventure has, has had its share of twists and turns. If I knew what I was getting myself into back in the saloon, I'd probably still do it. Dangerous stuff like this is kind of fun. Yeah. The Steamworks slogan, tomorrow means the surface. When do you think that tomorrow will come? It's been today, my entire life. Jeez. Ooh. Like that. That looks like a giant eye. Oh yeah, maybe. Uh, this vending machine doesn't look all good. You spot some gravity granola inside the machine. Take it. Faint faces burn into the machine's screen, staring out into the dim chasm of rock and steel. Jeez. Oh, hey, who did that? Clover, you can hear me, right? I'm gonna try and blast a hole in this thing. Nope. It's gonna take a lot to break through, and to think we are almost free of this place. Um, just look around for a switch or a keypad. There's always one near doors. Oh wait, that can't talk anymore. Ah. Hello. Main power source not found. Initiating emergency backup power. What was that? Did I just hear Axis? You man, you tried to shut me down. I have had it with you and your friend thwarting my plans. I am this close to directing all my steam into my rude finger. <laughs> what? Oh. And yes, I am yelling. My typography box just lacks the explanation point character. A shame, but at least I have question marks. Hey Clover. I don't think we can outrun this guy any longer. Please try to find a peaceful way to outwit him. I'm sorry, but I don't want to Shujin's creation smashed to bits. Outwit? Maybe. Outgun? Never. I am ticked off and out of non-lethal options. 
to prepare yourself. I am attacking now. Run. Die. What? My programming is preventing me from attacking. Attack. It says you are not cur a current threat of resisting arrest. Or resisting arrest. Ugh. Forget this. Here, I will make you a threat. <laughs> Hold this. It suits you. There. Now you have a drawn a weapon. I have a drawn weapon. Loopholes are wonderful, are they not? Now, time to die. Boys gotta love Asimov balls. There are so many fun things you can do with them. <laughs> oh, that this guy runs on Asimov. Axis model 014, ready to attack. I like this background. This music also kind of kicks too. 13 attack, tw defense 12. Today means the surface. Oh, what? Or, uh, what are you doing with that lid? It was not supposed to be useful. That is cheating. Axis is having trouble charging up his next attack. Scrutinize. He told Axis he's not great at his job. If he could frown, he would. Oh crap! No, why are you doing this to me? If it hits a bomb, uh. Yeah. Axis is flipping through the Royal, Royal Guard guidebook in his mind. You, you ready your trusty shield for whatever awaits. Oh crap! Uh oh. No, <laughs> what are you doing? What? Ah, uh, okay, so we charge it with the tick Omar. What was that? What did I say? I don't even know how to make that sound. <laughs> it's not a word. Why did I say that? Death by ma metal and magic. You snack on the gravity granola. You can really taste all 9.8 meters. Your health is maxed out. Oh crap, what are you doing? You can't do this to me! You know how much I've sacrificed? <laughs> uh oh. This is a really fun attack, I gotta say. It smells like... It smells like an unfortunate barbecue. This, this battle is awesome. Like, so far, I, I really like it. Cool, you pull on your shirt repeatedly in hopes to beat the heat. Your effort fails. Uh, Axis thinks this music is a bit intense for his taste. You say something rude to Axis. He honestly, uh... He honestly does not appreciate it. Okay, how'd I do this? Deflect it on... How? Like, go all the way over to the left. I think. I don't know how to aim it. Oh. I'm not sure if you, if you gotta, like, move while hitting it, or if you just gotta go on a certain, like, attack, like, block it from a certain angle. Axis flips into one of his vents to clean some dust. You don't know how. If that were the case, then you'd go all the way to the left, and then that would be it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Man, I wonder how large the hitbox is, because that seems... Pretty small. Yeah. You feel the furnace's heat waves engulf you. Kind of, I think. Axis thinks this music, yeah. Wait, does he throw it at your current location? I can't really tell. Yeah. Okay, yeah, then we want to move all the way to the right first. Okay. I guess, I think. He throws it around the same time. Or, 
Okay, no, it is based on the angle. Okay, so then, yeah, so... Because depending on what angle it hits you from... Yeah, like That's... that. Oh, uh, bzzz. I did it again. How? Wait, this is your doing. Of course it is. Do not shock me again, okay? No, what are you doing? Starting to re regretfully giving you that lid. Could you please drop it? Just kick it into the fiery <laughs> pit below us. Simple. That's I nice because it appears that, like, um, well, this is how you spare him is just by knocking his battery down. And I can just use items. What are you doing? Oh, he's got a lot of battery left. Oh, I got it, man. Take a while. He also keeps on going faster. More dang than she is, somehow. this time. Maybe... Yeah, I mean, if you, if you get him to throw it to the left and then you go to the right, yeah, like that. I, I don't know, that is enough. Unbeknownst to you, I brought a backup plan. Portable generators equals infinite battery. Good luck. However, I'm almost through. Whatever you're doing, it seems to be working. Keep adding it until it's out of juice. Um, I can hear you. You think you're so smart. Uh, I do not run on juice. In fact, I do not run at all. <laughs> I roll. Obviously. Is your refrigerator... What are you doing? This is cruel. Uh. Brush yourself off, Clover. It's time to put an axe in Axis. But 
What? Oh, you jerk. What's the matter with you? This bot's done nothing but blow you around. Give him a taste of his own metallic medicine. Shoot him. What the heck are you talking about? I'm moving. Nice. <laughs> Sounds like unfortunate barbecue, yes. I got that. Backup generators now. Seriously? <laughs> I am reaching un re unheard levels of tech. Level 7, at least. Your fault. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. It's a memorization attack. Oh, that's terrible. Neat though. Seems on edge, hmm, you don't say. Play something root to access. It's actually easier, I would think. Yeah. 
Unless if they pull something like that. Oh! <laughs> These are really unique attacks, I like them. Darn. Oh no, not this again. Oh jeez. Shift key actually comes in useful, or X, whichever one you need. What's that? Okay.
Yeah. Clearly the Axis wasn't built to last. You can take him out. I'm sure of it. You have to press down the shift key in order to move with at the pace with the lasers. Mm -hmm. Oh, darn. G granola. It's like I thought I saw something about metal, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> no, it's like meters, I think. I didn't. I didn't think you could eat the nails either, but I just did it. I was <laughs> no, confused. I was no. like, "Wait, we can eat the nails? Why didn't we do that?" That'd be scary. Supposedly the cleaning fluid. Supposed cleaning fluid or supposed water something. Suspicious water, that's what I'll call it. <laughs> Axis pinches the end of the end of one of his gloves and releases air. He finds it amusing. Somehow this attack is the easiest. This is just a faster one.
Screw you, screw you, screw you. Talk bad and I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what time is it? I'm sorry, how did I not get damage yeah, I there? don't know, I was wondering the same thing. Did you get some, like, few eyebrains at the very beginning? Then I didn't get hit there either. Okay, it's like you can go this far without healing. I just realized we had the, have less arena to work with here. I did through that finally. Have another healing item? Though? Yeah, we do. Uh, right, I only use one. Oh, gah! You would not like me at low battery. 
I am warning you to not drain my battery. <laughs> uh, uh. And there we go. Good holding your own while it's occupied. Access seems pretty dazed. One more shock should do him in. Let's end this. And... Wow, garbage. What the heck was that attack? I don't know. Oh, bro. Oh. Okay, the shield saved us that time. Yeah. There we go. Beep, beep. Shutting off strenuous emotions to save power. Ah. Oh. What do you do? What did you do to me? I don't feel an utter murderous rage anymore. I do not know what to do with myself. I suppose I will stare at you blankly until you do something. Yes, sir, I better present your metallic creation. Of course. Hey, Axis. What? How do you feel about a second date? Like a calendar? I... What is this? This feeling? <laughs> uh oh! Soulmates located. Perfection personified. Awesome. Where has this beauty <laughs> been all my life? Holy. Shim the shimmer, the complex, the complexion, <laughs> the curves. <laughs> oh, no. well, okay, that's enough. Clever. Let's uh, let's wrap this up. Nice. That's where they can fight. This emotion, it feels so nice. I must thank you for opening my eyes. I had no idea such wondrous sights exi existed. Glad we could finally reach level stability. Can I keep them? Whoa, slow down. Here. Do you want to know a secret? Yes, I would like to know a secret. They told me that they'd like you, but we'll only go out if it's casual. Get to know them a little first, you know? Ask what their name is or something. Okay. Alright, good. Give it a shot. Hello, my name is Axis. What is your name? Haha, uh -huh, you are so funny. Want to get married? <laughs> hey, rem remember what we, what we talked about? They said yes. What? I am honestly just as surprised <laughs> as you are as you. <laughs> this rocks. Okay, then I'm happy for you. Well, not to rain on the parade, but Clever and I have to go. Go where? Outland. Just a business trip. Well, I wish you a pleasant journey then. <laughs> Backup power, ex battery extremely low. Please recharge. Oh, suppose I should go do that. Recharging will restore me back to my factory state, but added hey, added human and tall lady to authorized list. Aww. There. Now I will not attempt apprehension next time we meet. Thank you, Haxus. You have a good life. I will try. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Hmm? You said your husband was my creator. Would you tell him that I miss him? He was always very kind to me. Bye. Yeah, I'll tell him. Thank you. Goodbye. And the music's gone. I gotta say, that was pretty entertaining. Thought we could bypass Axis without destroying him. Turns out you're a pretty good damn leader, Sir Clover. I don't know why I doubted. Great. 
I see our exit up ahead. We're close. Let's not venture off the path. I've had enough Steamworks for today. I wonder where Flowey's path would have been. Flowey gets around somehow. Yeah. We actually made it. The core. Except the elevator's broken in. Let's hope this elevator works. Oh. Never mind, the door really looks banged up, though. Yeah. I was thinking only one's gonna open. Next stop, the lab. What are you planning to do at the lab? Starlo, what are you doing here? <coughs> the gang and I were planning to return a return party for you. Though it was a great idea, especially for Kan Kaneko. That's very kind of you. Yeah. Well, we went to your old house to spruce it up. After all, this would be the perfect time to move back in. Ed, what did you find while cleaning? Uh, I was sweeping the floor and spotted something. An almost invisible trap door, an entrance. Sir, uh, what's actually going on here? What really happened to Can Conic Canico? Conico. Conico? Something like that. Um, no, why? Quit mumbling to yourself and speak up. Why did you need Clover? I don't want this to escalate, so tell the truth. Hi. I have to go. Clover, come on. Terrible. Ed, take Clover back home and keep watch. I'll chase after her. Jeez. Right. All right, let's go ahead. No hard feelings about the train, huh? Now we get to see the trap door, I imagine. Something like that. No, we get to see the house that was blocked off by the gate. Oh. Excuse me. Ugh, I'm never traveling via laundry chute again. What, was that the thing we looked at and said we can't go off the, off the path? I have no idea. <laughs> Ed, you're back. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And Clover, too? I was worried sick about you. For Star. Sarah ran away, so he chased after her. Alone? Why do you let him do that? Star knows Sarah more than anyone, Moray. Well, I'm not sure of that anymore. Clover! Moray messaged me about you being in danger. So I dropped what I was doing and flew over here. Why'd you get Feathers involved, Moray? I just thought she would deserve to know. She can help. Thank you for reaching out. I heard that you found something in Sir Bo's old house. Where was it? You didn't have the time to look over everything closely, but... It raised some serious concerns. Papers, tapes, belonging to Shujin. All way too scientific for me. Clover and I can scope it out. No way. I was told to keep Clover here. There's a potential threat to their life. There's always a potential threat to their life. If anyone can fix this, it's Clover. Fine. Just stay on track. I can't have them running away or nothing. You know the way? I believe so. Okay, we'll meet you there. I still have to finish explaining everything to the group. Till then. Come on, Clover. There's a lot of backtracking in this game, dang. Yeah, I guess this is, this is why it's so opened up. Hey, before we go, I need to apologize. I shouldn't have let Sir Bo take you. I just... I really thought I could trust her. We all did. What I had to take care of in Snowden was far too important. You know what? Doesn't matter anymore. Let's just focus on what Ed told, Ed told us. Concerns re regarding Shushan, he said? Surely it's nothing, right? Shushan was almost like a father to me. I don't know where I'd be in life without him. Oh, let you lead. Just head to uh, Oasis Valley. Nice to see you again, by the way. Uh, if we might be... Oh, 
Okay. This is going to be redundant. I'm sorry for all of my apologies. <laughs> it feels like I've all I've done since we met is screw up. I'm thankful that you're tough and aren't, you know, dead. But I shouldn't have been so scatterbrained in the first place. But change is here. Whatever awaits us, I'll do my best to help. Bird brain, bird. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> On point, though. Yeah. No more flowy. I want you to know that you can trust me. Some monsters haven't been incredibly accommodating to you, me included. But please, don't, don't let those experiences warp your perception of us, especially the potential backstabbing we're dealing with now. Our history with humanity is a harsh and complicated one. Not everyone takes it well. We should probably get going. Okay, let's not bother others with our problems. Gosh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Way to get yourself into mess, Bartlett. Bang up job. <laughs> oh wait, I want to go back in there. You doing all right? Sure, likely. Sure, it looks like you are. I can only hope your confidence rubs off on me. Just a smidge. Till now, I haven't done anything, any real investigations. Though, one time I did have to look into a Snowden, Snowden gang. I heard reports that they were harassing visitors, so I checked it out. I didn't find the gang, but a few cups did make me play a game. They moved so fast and made me dizzy. I couldn't beat them. They had a name. What was it? The Scrufflers? Or something like that? Wait. Gangs have names. They're probably friends with the other gang. Gah, I should have pieced it together sooner. Uh, mail. You can mess with that later. We needed to go to Sarah Bo's house. I forget. Can we get food here? Oh, crap. Guess we have to head north. Yep, gate opened. All right. There we go. No turning back. Wow, that's huge. Wow. I wish Fusion invited me over back in the day. This house is incredible. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, Let's get inside and see what the fuss is about. Oh. Blah, blah. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's just a massive sand pile. I wasn't sure what I was looking at there. I should have asked where the papers and tapes are located, huh? Hmm. I guess we could take a look around. Should be an office somewhere. State. Talk about extravagant. This must have been must have taken years to build. Well, if it were done traditionally, maybe magic had something to do with it. Freshly trimmed bamboo plants. Door is locked from the other side. Locked, huh? Strange. Guess I didn't start took another route. Oh, what? Oh, sliding walls, I see. Sick. The old pens and pencils. Search the drawers. Just some knickknacks of various shapes and sizes. Okay, well, there's the office. Several building bricks are scattered around the stuffed animal. Almost looks like it's watching me. 
not sure I like this room. Books of a novice reading level lie in the basket. They carry similarities to books you've recently read. Aw, I remember th reading those as a bird thing. Not to brag, but I finished them all in one day. I may have exceeded my classmates by several gr grades. <laughs> Look at her smug face. <laughs> you open dresser and see many neatly folded shirts. I don't think we need to look in there. No TV and game console gathering dust. The game case is an anime cover slip. Surface Tycoon, it says. Should you program a game for Kanaka? Wow. Must have been awesome to have him as a dad. Sturdy bed sits bathing in the warm glow of the dunes. What a masterwork, hand carved in everything. It's hard to believe that Shujin had the, had the time to craft all of this. Robots. Personally, it feels like there's something else here, but I don't know what. Gizmos and gadgets fill the desk space. Looming over it all, a map. On the map are several pinned locations of... This isn't what Ed was talking about, right? I mean, this is clearly Shujin's office, but... I took a look at the, uh, souls. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's strange to keep track of where humans... Sorry. I'm sure this is upsetting to look at. Still, many monsters do keep up with it. Those events are a big deal down here. Dozens of books lie line the shelves. History, engineering, chemistry, all too advanced for you. A few unfinished robots poke out from the box. Huh. I heard about Shujin's interest in robotics once. Guess is as far as he ever got. Nope. So he's been tracking where the souls fell down or where the humans died. Died, okay. Or sorry, assume. Cabinet contains thesis papers on many different subjects. Whoa. These are all typed on on cardstock. How wealth, wealthy was Shujin? Wait, what? Thesis papers. Expertly organized files labeled with numerous monster names. Did he keep records of everyone he befriended? Sandra, Lewis, Dr. Fish, Rosa, Martlet. Wait, Martlet? He found another monster with my name? I can't believe that never came up. <laughs> oh wait, crap. Well, I'm sure these are adorable. Gotta keep looking for whoever spooked the engine store. They ball in the front reads home movies. Okay. They 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 said they used brushed some stuff apart, and then there was a trap door. Yeah, that's why. I think, oh. I think... Oh. Thick, degraded books sticks out from the others. Home. Blueprints and annotations. Katsu Kane. Katsu Kane. Sorry, what were you going to say? I think it's in the other room. Not, not the one above, but on the... on. There was a second sliding door. I think it's back there. Ah, yeah, I see what you mean. I want to check this out first. Anything change? I don't see why it would. Founder's Crest. Decisive, devoted, determined. Because they already uncovered it. They wouldn't put it back the way that it was. They would have just left it there. Yeah, this is right. This place is here where no one's around. Long, dim holes, dust filling each beam of light. Regular dust, that is. Oh yeah, this is different. Fireplaces making the already warm house warmer. Pretty counterproductive in a climate like this. Still, it looks beautiful. Huh? Oh, that's the locked door. I guess so. Hopefully, this place doesn't save in for too long. 
It'd be a huge shame to that waste away. I want to talk, talk, talk to Marla back in the office in the bedroom. Keep an eye out for anything out of the ordinary. Yeah, that was just for the soul map, I think. That was <laughs> Go ahead. I'm a bit surprised Kanako wanted this room. It's pretty isolated from everything else. Must have been some of her mother's independence, huh? Sorry, what were you saying? Stare at your reflection in the sink water. The many trials you've endured have taken their toll on your appearance. An old fashioned gas oven, the best kept turned off. Wouldn't want a house fire. A reminder of your dues back home. Part of you wonders how everyone is doing, but the other part has moved on. You reach for the knife on the counter. No, ah! Kitchen mess with knives. Kitchen mess with guns either. <laughs> I think I might be guilty of child endangerment. <laughs> <laughs> you open the refrigerator and find some leftover corn chowder. Take it. You that you that hungry? Um, all right then. Suppose she won't miss it, right? You got some corn chowder. Weeks old leftovers from Serbo's fridge. I think I'm guilty of child endangerment. <laughs> You open the drawer. It's empty. Wait, we didn't try that door, did we? Oh. No, we didn't. I can't stand looking at that. It's... Let's just move on. The bed is tidily made. Doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. You search the nightstand. You find a folded up PSA which you stash in your m mail bag. Dear citizens of the undergrad, we are calling for fallen down monsters to be sent to Hotlane for important scientific research. Should you choose to participate, your loved ones will be tre treated with the utmost respect. Their condition heavily monitored and you regularly notified of their status. There's high, a chance for a tragedy to be turned into opportunity, for monster kind to finally see the light of the surface thanks to its citizens' of invaluable bravery and sacrifice. Fair consideration, Royal Science Division. I don't see anything concerning here. It's gotta be somewhere else. There are both many outfits hanging in the closet. You can see someone else's clothes hidden behind the front row. Sarah Brown knows what she likes, huh? I usually had the envious of such an intense resolve, but I'm not so sure it's a good trait anymore. I thought it would be. I would have thought they would have just left it the way, it, you know, they found it. No. Trap door somewhere? Did they say beneath a rug? Or anything like that? No. They just found a nearly invisible trap door. Nearly invisible. Yeah. Great. Still doing okay? I know this whole thing is a lot to process. Actually, me pointing that doesn't help. I'm gonna stop talking. Oh, this must be where they ate their meals. Oh. What? Uh, where? What do you see? Uh, the corner's bent up, I guess. Oh, is it? I can't tell. Yeah, see? Oh! Huh. Hey, uh. I need your help. You think something's under there? Alright then. On three. One. Two. Three! Whoa. Die, clever. Spooky. Well, uh, after you. Hey, uh, what time is it? Uh, 8.30. Well, 
bunch of robotic stuff. True lab moment. Okay. <laughs> what the? Uh oh. Oh my. What? What is all this? Formulas, soul research. Hold on, look over here. Tapes. Each one has a date on it. You, you, you know? Maybe this is all a big mis misunderstanding. Yeah, that's probably it. I'll just watch these and clear the air. Gonna get some high quality pixel art. I think we are. Greetings, this is Shujin. I don't have much time these days for writing journal journal for my for a writing written journal, so I opted for video. I have no idea who will view these, if anyone, but I see it best to document my work. That is all for now. Signing off. This is Shujin. Today I traveled to Snowden with my daughter on casual business. While I was busy, Kanonico wandered off to play with the resident. That's when it happened. A few panicked townsfolk ran up to me saying that a human had entered the area. This human, they attacked the monster Kanako was with. She was so close, she could have been next. No one was there to protect her, not even me. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Humankind already won by trapping us down here, yet they keep twisting the knife. This cannot continue any longer. As of today, I'm looking into stopping this perpetual injustice once and for all. This is Shujin with unfortunate news. I was fired from my engineering position. I poured all my all into my project, but it wasn't enough. Programming was bugged, but I knew I could have ironed it out with a few more iterations. Why am I punished for trying to, to take our struggle seriously? I feel as if I'm the only one who hasn't forgotten or chosen to live in ignorance. I told Sarabodia I was retiring. I can't let her think less of me. But enough of that. It's in the past. I must live in the present and plan for the future. Prove that I can save monster kind any another way. This is Shujin. After years of research, I've made a breakthrough. Boss monsters. They may be the, the key to monster kind's survival. I was able to reach this conclusion because I... I carry the boss monster gene. This means my soul is much stronger than that of other monsters. More importantly, boss monsters are immortal until they produce offspring. Right now, monster kind is few in numbers compared to humanity, but... What if anyone could become a boss monster like me? Like Kanonico? As a nation, an army... We could finally possess, possess enough power to take the surface back. My theory for this involved the fusion of a human soul and a boss monster, boss monster soul. For that, the serum would be, need to be extracted, which could transform any average monster. Unfortunately, I have not gathered enough proof that said serum is possible. I must conduct more tests. This is Shujin. I was worried this might happen. Science is a dangerous game. Uh, rather foolishly, I experimented on myself several times. Over and over, the subject rejected the fusion, and I think I know why. I'll be direct. My soul has deteriorated, and I am no don't know how, mu how much longer I have. However... I believe my theory holds stronger than it ever did. This is a message to my 
dear Saraboa, this research is up to you. No one else would listen. After I'm gone, look for the next human who falls down here. Someone pure of heart, uncorrupted. I need you to obtain their soul, but not just anywhere. You must have a boss monster soul nearby to fuse with. You'll need... You'll need... Damn it all. Search for a willing boss monster in the underground. Someone else, please. Our little girl, Kanako. She needs to live a happy life, unaffected by my endeavors. That is my final wish. Oh, oh my gosh. I never knew. He never mentioned. Clover, we have to go right now. Come on. So you figured it out? Yes. Sarah Bo is trying to carry out a plain fusion left for, for her. Something involving Clover's soul and the boss monster's soul. Which happens to reside in Kanako. K Kanako. What the? So she lied to us. About the mission to retrieve Kanako? She wasn't lying about finding Kanako. That's the alarming part. The Kanako is alive and well? Thank goodness. Alive? Am I missing something? It's a long story. She fell down some time ago. Saraboa sent her to the lab in hopes to remedy the situation. I had no idea. She fell down? Uh, yeah, it's like a state in which monsters transfer to before death. Oh. Yeah. It's like pre-dusting. Okay. But... I got you. Okay. Where's the pl last place you saw Saraboa go, Ed? You ain't taking Clover straight to her, are ya? That's exactly what she wants, right? Yeah, Clover needs to stay safe with us. She can't accomplish her goal if Clover's nowhere to be found. We aren't going to let her accomplish it, or her goal her goal. And anyway, the Wild East is a tourist destination, a public place. My colleagues probably know human is in the underground by now. If Clover stayed here, they'd eventually tear the, the town up. Fair to be on the move, yeah? Hi. Look, I need to fly ahead to scout out the situation. So, again, where did the two go? Oh. oh. Clover. Oh, like, you. Clover, you were there. Where did they go? Lab, most likely. That lines up. Hotland is... Hey, I got Star my... I gave Star my word. Let them do it, Ed. Clover is the only one who can put this to rest. Alright. They took the westmost elevator in the steamworks. You can use the la a laundry chute to get there quicker. The elevator's destination sits near the core. Ask around if someone spotted which direction they went from there. Wait, we need to go too, right? You need all the help you can get. Appreciate the offer, but please don't. This might get dangerous. Stay here and keep the townsfolk happy like you always have. Okay, but please be safe. I'll, tr I'll try. Thanks for all, for all of your help. If you Even if you locked me in the jail cell for hours on the end. Hey, we're friends for? I, I can think of a few things. I mean, yeah, no problem. Clover, meet me on the rooftop of the underground apartments a a a ASAP. I'll figure this out, I promise. apartments I uh, wish you luck with this seriously yeah I bet we'll be I'll be catching bandits sh again shortly I'll be sure to save your spot our next nap nap time just don't do anything stupid see you later deputy
Uh, howdy. Long time no see, buddy. I've been wanting to tell you something. It's been weighing on my mind, so I truly mean it when I say, Told you so. Haha, <laughs> sorry. Can't pass that up. Now, I know this isn't the part where I tell you to ignore Sir Boa, but... I have a strong feeling that wouldn't sway you at this point. Honestly, I'm starting to want to see this play out. After all, that fox wants to waste your soul on the science fair project. No good. I'm in your corner, like I've always been, so don't worry. We'll get rid of her and continue down our path. Easy peasy. It'll all work out in the end, pal. Didn't leave a safe point. Quite the turn of events, huh? Well, good thing I'm on the winning side. Ha! <laughs> I bet you'll handle Cerebro like it's nothing. You think we should stop it here? Yeah, I think we should pause here. Thanks for watching. Uh, we really appreciate it. Have a nice night, you guys.